Welcome back to the channel. So the next two installment of the Barber Anatomy Design Series will feature the classic wax tartan. I have my favorite jackets, the Bedale, Bedale, and the Beaufort. I know I always pronounce Bedale wrong, I'm sorry, in advance. So I have the Bedale and the Beaufort jackets as well as the, um, the hood that complements those jackets as well, the classic tartan hood. Uh, I've never used this hood, <laughs> I'll say that now. Um, it is fall of 2021 uh, and I highly recommend these jackets over any other barber jackets. It's a nice seasonal, fall seasonal jackets, both of them. Uh, I recognize the Bedale, I'm 5 foot 8 inches tall, uh, 160 pounds each. If you're around my height, the Bedale might suit you uh, more. If you're taller than that, um, 6 foot and up, uh, the Beaufort is a really nice jacket. It covers um, business suits. It also covers your mid thighs as well as your pockets in case it's raining, your pockets won't get wet. So enjoy the videos guys. Um, back again on this channel with the Barber content that you guys seem to love. So there will always be Barber content on this channel. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more stuff in the future. This video is going to be a joy for me to make because this is simply one of my favorite jackets of all time. It's the Barber Classic Bedale jacket and I have the hood on the top there. This specific jacket was purchased by me March of 2015. Um, it has a lot of wear of all the jackets I own. I wear this one the most between the months of October, November through March, April. Uh, I do have my longer Beaufort jacket for when it's really raining and when I need coverage over a business suit. But everyday wear and tear going in and out of the office or weekend um, apple picking trips or whatever I'm doing with the kids, I tend to put this on when the temperatures are below 40 degrees, 50, 40 degrees itch. I put this jacket on over either a business shirt going to work or a t-shirt or sweater with um, like a lightweight sweater. Uh, this jacket was actually waxed twice. The first time was like a 2018 and it just got rewaxed right before pandemic in uh, March of 20, um, January of 2020. Um, and I haven't worn it since. So you're looking at a freshly waxed older barber jacket that's over, uh, I believe, six years old now. Uh, so let's get right into the review. I'm going to tell you why. This is simply one of the um, classiest, easy to wear um, of all the barber jackets, uh, especially if you are shorter height, under six foot tall. Perfect jacket. It, it falls just well. Uh, they are oversized because these are the classic um, fit, uh, sporting, tradition traditional jackets so they tend to be oversized i'm five foot eight, eight inches tall 160 pounds and i've actually sized down to a c36 which is about 22 inches chest width and about i believe it's 30 inches long could be wrong on that um, but let's get right into it dive into the details of showing you guys why this is an awesome jacket so February of 2021, I looked out my window and saw a beautiful fog across the Hudson River. I grabbed this jacket, ran across the street and started shooting this video, figuring this is the best weather condition to shoot a barber video in. It is about 39 degrees with some wind, uh, mist and a light drizzle. And I'm just wearing this jacket with a Henley t-shirt underneath and I'm very warm. I have the hand warmer pockets here. They fall around mid lower, um, lower chest. The high standing collar is corduroy line. It feels very good against your skin and keeps that heat in around your neck. Uh, it's almost like a scarf and you could um, batten it down with the storm flap there um, that's hanging there. It zips up like that. It's two way zipper, really good zipping system. Hand warmer pockets there. Um, really good um, position for the hand warmer pockets. You also have pockets down below that fits, that you could put your hand in as well. There are bellow pockets. Um, articulated sleeves, so I can raise my hands like that and touch my head. Um, very comfortable jacket to wear. That's why the Bedale, Bedale gets a lot of wear from me. It's, a, it's an easy jacket to put on. You run across the street in a rainstorm, <laughs> in a fog, and shoot a video in the river, and it's that easy to wear. Um, inside, you have the nylon um, gaiter that keeps the inside tart and dry. The um, flaps in the back keep your the seat of your pants dry if you're riding a bicycle, motorcycle, or horse. Um, Jacket is short enough that you can stick your hands in your trouser pockets, which is makes it look cool, like sort of like a biker jacket look. If you do want more protection against um, downpour, get the Beaufort or the Border jackets. Those jackets are much longer and will protect your you down to your thighs in a um, rainstorm. Yeah. So 
We're gonna go back inside in a minute and take a closer look at this jacket, the finer details of this jacket, and why the design anatomy of the BDL jacket is one of the top, I think, top, top jackets of in my lifetime I think that you could buy anyone could buy so let's um, get back inside let's <laughs> zip this up swivel my arms around good swivel motion of that articulated sleeves really good good to have that yeah all right let's get back inside guys and look at this jacket closer the first thing you see when you see this a jacket like this you see the tartan print uh, it is a brown olive brown outer wax uh, six ounce silk oil shell and if you're confused about what kind of uh, wax is used It's always an inside of this pocket here and you have the tr traditional six ounce wax and it's six ounces six ounce weighted um, I guess material cotton and it wax it over um, the wax is waterproof uh, My favorite feature of this jacket is the articulated sleeve. I go over it in all my videos It's something you don't really appreciate until you have a jacket that doesn't have articulated sleeves I'm looking at the Ashby jacket and you're like, whoa, what am I doing wrong here? Uh, I've got to go back to this jacket uh, Sleeves are articulated as well as they have raglan sleeves So there's no seam on the shoulder of the sleeves and I believe for me uh, Personally, I think that's what makes this jacket distinctive over the Ashby and it has a strong advantage over the Ashby simply because the sleeves are articulated and the sleeves are raglan designed so there's no seam up top there so if you are actually it's raining whilst you're getting your coffee or going in any office you're not going to get wet with this because there's no seam up here for water to seep in seams on barber jackets as far as I know are not taped seams like you find in a Gore-Tex um, jacket so the seams are the weak point on these jackets when they're covered in wax uh, you know, seams are seams. It's not a perfect um, waterproof item, but Barber does the best to make the sleeves at least raglan as well as articulated, so you do get that full waterproof resistance um, when wearing this jacket. Uh, moving along the outside, you just have your basic storm flap. It's about an inch and a half. Um, beneath the storm flap, you have um, two-way zips, and these are, you know, traditional Barber zippers. If you haven't seen a Barber jacket, this is one of the distinctive features of these jackets. They have this big um, silver um, zipper loop there with the barber logo on the loop uh, the snap are pewter colored so you do have pewter they're not dark brass they're not bright brass like the uh, active um, dress garden blade but they also have but uh, jackets have the bright bass snap bright brass snaps to match the zipper pull the zippers but this is a pewter gray snap uh, a lot of confusion with that people tend to think these might be brown but they are pewter gray, steel gray, like a dark gray. Um, outside of that, you have the snap tabs. On my jacket, because my jacket is six years old, you have this patina of use in these snap tabs that fade into like a copper kind of finish. Um, where, but originally these were just a dark brown, dark metallic brown. But I like how the, um, the snaps are aging as well as the, the way this jacket is aging. I mean, six years old, I could have gotten rid of this. But I, I love it so much. I love the way it's aging. And someone on my channel once um, below in the comments said, Oh, wow, don't rewax these jackets. Let them age out. Um, and you get that nice, even a wax has a nice patina when you wear it. When it ages, it has this nice olive brown. It looks beautiful. Uh, you have two bellow um, pockets here with holes for uh, if anything's wet in there, it ventilates the holes, uh, ventilates the inner pocket. The inner pockets of these have the classic tartan print, which is beautiful. It's a cotton, cotton uh, as far as I know, it's cotton fabric. There is no side pocket in on these in the front. Uh, you have the uh, silk oil um, label there to tell you what kind of uh, wax is being used or in fabric. Uh, you have two hand warmer pockets up here, and these are moleskin lined, or you could say fleece lined, basically uh, fleece lined, and they keep your hands warm. As well when I go outside and put this on you see how it looks with the hands in those pockets very comfortable jacket to wear uh, along the front we have a high collar it's about three inches at the tip there and yeah it's about three inches tall collar it protects your neck and it's a corduroy line collar Barbara tends to do these with um, all their traditional wax jackets some of these might be moleskin or suede but the corduroy works perfectly for me and you do have a stone flap here that goes over all the BDLs have the storm flaps as well as the Beaufort and the border jackets. The traditional wax jackets tend to have this neck flap protection neck. I've used this a couple of times when it got really cold, like it's snowing and the temperature dips real quickly. You put a scarf under there, you pull that 
very very warm i tend to have a button um uh, button pin to my collar i like it's my quirk um rep, you know represent my tottenham hotspur club with that button pin and that's about the outside feature of the jacket on the back you do have the the uh the flaps here and when i did the ashby video i mentioned the ashby for me it didn't work because the ashby was slightly longer jacket than this but dale is this is about 30 inches long there it's not a long jacket and these flaps work well like if you want to put your hands in your pocket or if you're an officer or someone that carries a firearm it's really easy to reach and get your firearm with this flap open if you ride horses or motorcycles as you would know having this works because it protects your butt as well and keeps rain off um, the back of your pants, the upper part of your pants, because uh, the flap will pretty much cover, um, you know, won't go under your butt, it will cover the seat behind where you're sitting, which is useful. Um, my jacket got actually a bit of, a bit of markings there. Uh, yeah, studs in the back to take the hood. I do have the classic tartan hood here. I'm not, Honestly, I'll be honest with you, I've never used this hood. It's, it's, um, I think my wife got it for me when I got these jackets. I've never had to use the hood. I usually carry an umbrella or a hat, but the jackets work well. If you're a person that don't want to get your head wet, get the hood. They're about $40, $50 um, online, and it looks good. Made in the UK, apparently, as far as I know, they're still made in the UK. Um, good quality hood. So there's no back seam on, on the Bedales. It's just a flat back. And I like that it doesn't have a seam in the back because guess where water leaks in? The seam, there's no seam back here. So if the rain is coming down on your back, you're not going to get your back wet. <laughs> you know, there's no seam. Ashby has the seam in the back. Don't know why, but here the Bedale gets away with the design of it. You know, it manages to do the most with less. And I love that. It's one of my favorite. That's why it's my favorite jacket. So let's go on the inside of the jacket. You do have a single pocket here. It's a Velcro pocket, you can put an iPhone 13 or iPhone Max or Samsung Galaxy Plus in that pocket. One of the larger size cell phones will hold in there. Um, you do have your Barber um, label. Uh, should say made in England for the Bedale Beaufort, the classic traditional wax um, tartan jackets. Should always say made in England. They are counterfeit jackets of these, sadly. Um, I've been, it's been brought to my attention. And those counterfeit jackets sometimes may not have anything in there. It might just say barber on that square tag there. Classic Bibdale is on here, as well as the original Barber Tartan, original and authentic. Uh, barber Care label tends to rub out after a couple of wear. Uh, what's interesting about the interior of this jacket along the uh, torso is that you have this nylon gaiter down here that protects the cotton inside. Because this is like a cotton, it's not. It's not waterproof, the tartan, so this uh, nylon gaiter protects water from soaking into the lining, especially if it's really raining. This jacket is designed for rain in mind, um, and uh, considering where it's made, I understand that. Um, so the nylon gaiter presents, prevents water from soaking into the jacket. It's a nice uh, forethought, I think. Inside the sleeves, we have uh, the tartan goes along the sleeve, so you do have the tartan print ends in the sleeves at the cuffs and you have a nylon gaiter here again to protect the cotton tartan lining from getting wet. So this is like a waterproof barrier from keeping water from soaking into the jacket. Great forethought, like again, good design language there. This is great design and this is why this jacket is worth every penny you pay for it. And I think these now go for like $400, it's worth every penny. You have acrylic cuff, it's elasticated cuff and this is why I think the Bedale is warmer than the Beaufort sometimes. This acrylic cuff covers your wrist when you wear it. And I find sometimes that keeps my forearm warm. It keeps the heat in inside the jacket when the jacket zipped up. Uh, keeps wind out. And when you wear gloves, you can put gloves over the, the cuffs to seal all your heat, your body heat in. And that's why I think this sometimes is a really warm jacket, even though it's not long and protective like a Beaufort, or even as long as an Ashby. I think the, the the design language of this sleeve is designed to keep you water, keep you dry and keep you warm in all conditions. Um, and I've worn it down to the teens Fahrenheit, like 20, 19, 17 degrees Fahrenheit in New York City. And I've been fairly warm in it with a sweater and underneath and a shirt. Uh, and that wraps up my design 
language of this awesome jacket. I don't think I missed anything. I have a ton of videos on my channel of this jacket, trying it on and wearing it. So check those out. Um, but this is a really good jacket. One of my favorite jackets. It's late October. It's going to be like 90 degrees today. Uh, and it's like October 15th. Um, so I probably won't get to wear this for a while. Um, but I'm eager to get this in my bag. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Um, look out for more Design Anatomy um, videos coming up. I have the Beaufort to do, uh, classic and traditional Beaufort. Thank you.